Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and Happy New Year. My name is Noelle and this is day eight of our 12 days of Christmas or 12 more days of Noelle series. I hope that you have been enjoying it as much as I have. If you missed out on our 24 day Advent series, definitely go back and check out that playlist. You still have an opportunity to win some of the goodies from those awesome Advent boxes and maybe even some of the boxes that we're opening in this series. If you are new to the series and new to my channel even, we're basically opening up four different 12-day boxes that you could have received as a gift for Christmas or maybe you already opened them because you use them like an advent box leading up to the holiday. No matter what, I think it is really fun to enjoy the boxes day by day the way they are meant to be enjoyed. There is also a fifth little box that we are opening. It is a 12-day candle box that was in the My Trove Box Holiday Edition, which I am just kind of setting the tone with each day. But basically, I am featuring one of the boxes each day. And since there are 12 days and there are four boxes, each of the boxes is going to be highlighted three different times where I give you a little bit more information. But I always love to hear at the end of these unboxings what your favorite item was for the day. And then kind of keep that in the back of your mind because, of course, I'm going to ask you what your favorite 12-day box was at the very end of this series. It is, of course, going to carry us all the way through January 5th, and I hope that you will go back and watch any if you missed. And of course, watch my unboxings that are always posting in the afternoon at 2 p.m. Pacific. Those will continue even once we've gotten through this marathon of double days with our Advent series and our 12 days series. So you guys, today, the one that we are going to focus on is Bam Blue, which is a really great little self-care box that I found at the the very last minute and added into the mix because I was trying to show you a, a diverse group of different boxes uh, just kind of from you know we have a book box for example we have this one that's really about self-care and is made by a company that focuses on uh, sleep aids essentially we have a jewelry subscription that has done a 12-day box it's really really fun but let's talk about our candle first because that came in that really nice uh, plaid box back there that had votives in three different colors we have the silver the red and of course the the gold and they are sort of themed by the 12 days of Christmas song so on top you can see for day number eight which is my lucky number that's why we usually have our live streams on the eighth of the month is eight maids a milking we're finally off the birds you guys and the scent this time around so here is our milking maid there our milkmaid uh, so the, the scent this time around is candy cranberry which I think might be really nice because you guys know if you've been watching my channel I don't really like sweet scented candles sometimes they give me a little bit of a headache although even the sweet scented candles in this little box which is a really great value. If she still has any left in the marketplace and you can reuse these nice glass photos afterwards. Haven't been overwhelming. They're just like a nice little accent candle in your home. They look so pretty at night. So this is nice. So it's just kind of sweet. It's kind of like cranberry juice where they've kind of added some sugar so that it's a little more pal palatable than like, you know, straight cranberry juice, which is way too intense. So I do like that candle. That was a nice way to start with our eight mil maids of milking. But now with our Bam Blue box, was a self-care box. Now I have just put some of the items into this little white wooden crate because it just came in a plain brown box which was not that exciting to me but I was happy to see it's they did such a nice job of wrapping everything. It all kind of goes together with the nice uh, satin ribbons and uh, the brown paper and the bamboo branded uh, wrapping paper. Now the wrapping paper I don't mind when it's branded but a couple of the gifts that we've gotten so far have been very branded and that is like kind of a no-no for me because I like things to be a little more I would prefer it to be generic than branded right but they have given us some really great gifts so it was a $200 box and then I was able to get it on sale because they did a 12 days sale series I was able to get it on sale for $120 it was $16.51 in shipping which kind of upped it so basically we should be looking at a value of around $16.67 per gift right? So if at the full price, at the full price. I don't know that we've gotten that necessarily, but we have gotten some really nice items. And what they did is they just said this gift box is designed to be a self-care solution for you to enjoy one gift every day for the 12 days leading up to Christmas. So again, they kind of mixed up their marketing and had it be an advent box when really I think this would be such a great gift to give to someone or to receive on Christmas day to enjoy into the new year. Um, so they just gave us a list of things that could be included. Lotion, journal, shower steamers, bath bombs, ornaments, 
scent candles, soap, bath salt, lip balm, room spray, ceramic mug, tea, hot chocolate, satin pillowcase, satin sleep cap, and bamboo socks. We have gotten some of those items, um, but that was way more than 12. So it's kind of, we're, we're kind of seeing which ones we wind up with. Of course, I already wound up with a bath bomb instead of a shower steamer. So fingers crossed I get one of those since that's what I'm more into. But let's go ahead and open up day number eight, which just came in a little satin bag with the eight on there. And I just thought it was really cute how they did so much decoration. There were little silver balls on a lot of the packages. Um, and it looks like they really did take a lot of care. I was a little worried when I first started opening the big brown box because there was no like product card or even an invoice. But what they've done is they did include a little sort of business card sized note for each of them. They aren't numbered by day necessarily. So I feel like they just sort of slapped the stickers on there to make sure they got everything right. Um, or maybe they just wrapped up all the nines, all the elevens, all the whatever, and then just threw them all in the boxes. I'm not sure how they did it, uh, but definitely I have a feeling that some people got different items just because of that list that they did give us. All right, you guys. So inside, it's in a plastic bag because they wanted to make sure there was no spillage, which I definitely appreciate, but it has kind of shifted around a little bit. Oh, so it is a green tea and plant stem 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 cell eye gel. Now I can't tell if the label is just kind of swirly like that or if there was some leakage. It doesn't feel like there was any leakage so that's kind of cool. Um, a little bit of a self-care item. I guess the whole thing is a self-care box but a little bit more of a skincare. So it says beauty is how you feel inside and it reflects in your eyes. Spend a little time before bed loving and pampering the windows to your soul knowing you did something great for your skin. I like the little notes that they've included in this box. I think that's really cool. So do I think that this was worth a value of 16 and change? Absolutely. And you know some days are going to be a higher value than others and some days are not. It's kind of curious because it does tell us you know that it is made without parabens, sulfates, you know phthalates, all of that stuff but I might have to look a little bit more it says visibly eliminate puffy eyes dark circles bags and wrinkles with this one-of-a-kind plant stem cell botanical hyaluronic acid caffeine rich green tea and protein peptide formula all right I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more so it is made by apple rose I believe and it is one fluid ounce so that's what we've got in our bam blue box for today so that will be featured one more time I believe on day number 12 which will actually be January 5th so now we can move on to our Once Upon a Book Club box, which is this one, or they call it Once Upon a Book Club Miss. Uh, so it came with this nice a volume of short stories that they commissioned, and there are writers from all over, writers of all ages, a lot of like young teen writers because they gave us a little bio in the back. And basically with each of those, we received a gift. We did know ahead of time that there were going to be four gifts. Let me see if I can find day number eight. So day number eight had a little bit of a shorter story, I believe. It was 16 page. It was called A Recipe for Love by Angie Michaelis. There were a lot of like baking and magic stories in this in this little um, anthology, which I thought was kind of interesting. So let me see if I can remember what this one was about. Oh, you know what? I really loved this one. So this was a little bit of a period piece. It was sort of after the war, and I think it was in the UK and there's this gal who finds some solace waiting for her loved one to return at the end of the war so we're like 1945 essentially at the end of the war she's waiting for him to come home he doesn't arrive at the train station but while she is waiting she receives some solace because she joins like a women's book and baking club which I thought was really really cute so this is what it looks like this is page 161 when you get to the page that says open your gift and they actually highlighted the passage so I will read the passage and tell you and we will see what we got. So she gets a note inviting her to this uh, book club, which is fun. She flipped the note over, no signature, no hint of who had delivered it. Sophie untied the ribbon, careful not to rip the packaging so she could reuse it for gifts. Paper was still restricted and in short supply. A small smile crept to her lips. Some mystery person had been thinking of her, had left her a gift. Inside the brown paper, she discovered a beautiful new recipe book. Opening the cover with careful reverence, she found a few simple recipes, handwritten in perfect 
perfect script, each one adapted to be made despite the rationing and shortages of supplies. There was an apple tart from the pages of Jane Austen's Emma, figgy pudding like something from a Dickens novel, and even sponge cake inspired by her childhood favorite, A Little Princess. She flipped through the pages, finding many blank, which left her room to create her own recipes and traditions. So there are a lot of recipe books that are out there that are sort of inspired by books, and so that's what I was hoping that we would receive. And we got this very nice large box that has a uh, kind of a uh, day eight actually printed on there. You guys know how I feel about them actually printing the page numbers or days on boxes. I wish they wouldn't so that you could re-gift them so that people, your recipient wouldn't necessarily know that's what was happening. But I think this is supposed to look like a snow globe and to me it looks like a big light bulb but it's got a nice roasting, uh, roasty toasty fire. So let's see what our recipe book is. First of all, we also got this nice set of measuring spoons, which I thought were nice. They're actually, this one looks like wood, but it's actually, they're all plastic. This one is more rubbery. These ones are more rubbery. Nice on a ring so you can take that off. I didn't even notice that. So some of these I've actually not opened yet. And inside we have the book recipe book. So I'm hoping there are actually some recipes in there. This is a very hefty recipe book. Now I just don't have room for it in my household, but I love the idea of it. So let me see if it's the old school kind where there's actually little slip pockets. The book recipe book, it is branded once upon a book club here along the bottom, a nice spiral binding. On the back it says, eating and reading are two pleasures that combine admirably. And of course that is from C.S. Lewis. And it is so true. Oh my goodness, this is actually very nice. It says, have you ever wanted to make the apple tart from Jane Austen's Emma, Charles Dickens' figgy pudding, or the roasted potatoes from The Secret Garden? Use this book to store all the recipes inspired by your favorite literary tales. So it does have mostly blank pages, but as you can see, there are tabs for the different sections. So there's uh, starters and snacks, side dishes, main dishes, desserts, and drinks. I was just trying to see, I was hoping that they would have a couple of recipes in there, like the ones that they suggested suggested but it is nice and big and you can take use your best handwriting I suppose it's nice that it's spiral so you can fold the page back if you want to so you don't have to have that big book rest but this is just something that I would love to fill up on my own but I probably would use it more if it already had some recipes in there that I could add to it because I know that there are, are recipe books out there that are inspired by literary works of art but it was a good gift it was definitely a hefty gift um, I don't know that I personally will use it. I might gift it to someone else who I know is more of a cook, more of a baker than I am these days. Let's move on to our next box, which is from YSM Designs. It is our jewelry box, and that is this little one right here, which will be featured once again. So I went ahead and pulled out the Day 8 drawer which has a little sweater on it, and each of them comes with a little heart that tells us what the beautiful item inside is, as well as a little wrapped jewelry gift. So let me see what we have for today. Ooh, this is exciting. Mini CZ leaf earring charms, minis for your hoops, and they match with your pendant. All right, so we did already get a pendant, a leaf pendant. Um, I haven't worn that one yet, but you guys, this is the hoops that she's talking about. So you can just slide different charms on there. Um, and they gave us these charms that I'm wearing right now. And then, oh, this is so pretty. So we got two of them so that you can wear it to match with the pendant. Now, I'm not usually someone who wears a lot of matchy matchy stuff, but super easy to put on there. So let me see if I can get that to focus. It'll take a second or two because it is so sparkly. Sparkly things are hard to make focus, you guys. But I think that is so pretty and that will look really lovely on these hoop earrings that I am wearing. Now all of the items in this box were in gold, although she does other jewelry tones, but that will be really pretty on these earrings. You'll have to see that in the future. Or of course you could add it to a chain as well. I guess you could probably even add it to the, the other one where you had like three leaves going along, but I think these are really, really pretty. Um, she doesn't give us necessarily the value of each of these items, but we are looking at around a $35 value, like on average, based on the total retail value of the box, which was like $415. By the way, guys, this box is on sale. I know some of you have taken advantage of it. It is uh, $209 instead of the original $250, and then I have a bunch of different coupon codes for you below, which you can use to get even more of a discount, so definitely get in on that. So that was our YSA designs uh, item for today and then we have one more from 11 nights in bird moss which is this little guy
guy, and that's the little pie-shaped, cake-shaped one. It's this little birdie. Let me free him from this um, plastic. And then, I, of course, I will read the description for you. I don't know if it's a soap or a candle or a bath bomb, but it came in that little pie shape, and hopefully I don't break their little tail. Oh, I think it is a soap. How sweet. What a sweet little soap to have sitting on your sill in your uh, bathroom, for example. And then let me see if it says. It says it's a sparrow soap. Mine is in a very bright orange. Your handcrafted detergent-free glycerin soap is lightly scented with white tea and ginger fragrance oils. Try using it as part of a homecoming ritual to wash away external stresses and influences. Okay, I love that. Now let's read our poem that goes along with it. It says, allow no claim upon you. Chittering sparrows escort you to the tree line away from the dance. So that's a nice little haiku for us. There we go. That was the haiku on one side. There was the description on the other side. So there is that little slip of paper in each of our 11 uh, Nights in Bergmoss gifts, which I thought was lovely. So uh, let's see what we got today, you guys. So we started off with our Eight Maids of Milking Candied Cranberry Votive. Then from Bam Blue, we got this nice uh, de-puffing eye cream. That might be my favorite item this time around. From Once Upon a Book Club with a sweet little Little story. Honestly, it was probably one of my favorite stories in the entire uh, anthology, and I have now actually read all of them. We got uh, this really big recipe book that's just it's just a little hefty for me in all honesty but I love that they had that created for us and I do like that they gave us the measuring spoons uh, which are always useful although I have a couple different sets of them from our YSM jewelry we got these lovely leaf pendants to match the necklace pendant that we already received that go on to these hoops so everything's kind of working together I really admire that about this box it seems really well thought out and then finally from our bird moth box we got a bird uh, a little bird soap which is super duper cute so you guys let me know in the comments below what was your favorite item on January 1 happy to hear from you in the comments below do check out my unboxing later this afternoon and of course join me for the rest of this series and catch up on the past one if you missed it I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all very very soon happy happy new year everyone